Hello survivors, welcome back. So, Rightway Gaming bringing you another ARC video and today we're going to be doing a few small tasks that will become quite important later on. Um, so, let's get down to it shall we? So, I've been gathering a few resources. Um, in the last episode, there was a few things that weren't quite right with the server that I picked up on after we finished the recording. Uh, there was a few mods that hadn't kicked in. I don't know what it was, so I had to basically restart the server and then they kicked in, so that's good. Um, the server settings didn't kick in, so the increased harvesting and taming rates, etc., they weren't, they didn't exist. Why, I, again, don't know. But as you can see, now we can carry more thatch and more stone and stuff without it actually overburning us, um, which I thought would be quite useful for the, the videos that we're doing. Um... And you'll also notice the harvesting rates as well will be a lot higher as we're collecting stuff throughout the video. Anyways, let's not get too much into that. Today what I want to be doing is crafting this and this and showing you the purpose of them. I'll crop that out. So we've crafted them. Let's try and drop them in here. Like so. So then, bed I normally put to one side like so. And then the pestles I normally put with the campfire, so I'm going to put it about here. Sometimes it's nice to just put a table with them but in this case we're not going to do this so let me show you the importance of these two items now so the first one is the bed and as you can see if you go over to it it says e press to fast travel but if you do this um as it says next to it you will drop all your items all of them that is so as you can see it brings up the map but because there's no other beds on the map at this moment in time we can't actually fast travel anywhere so therefore it's not much point to doing so Right, let's go over to the mortar and pestle. The good idea about them beds is you can make multiple bases throughout the island or the map that you're on and fast travel between them with no items to say that if you need to go cave diving, material farming, something along those lines. You can keep like different farmhouses around, around the map to go and get materials from. So as you can see now, we've got the mortar and pestle up and it looks pretty much like a campfire in terms of you've got slots to put stuff in and your inventory. Now as you can see there's nothing there but if we just apply our level ups so we've got nothing white for now um, put movement speed up is that the only level up I had? Apparently so. Right so as you can see we can now craft S plus things as well. S plus was one of the things that were missing from the last video which I'll explain more about as we get into it. So there's an S plus storage box. We do need to learn all these, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. We don't need any of them just yet. So here we go, right, this is what I want to show you. So we've got spark powder and narcotics. Should have probably crafted one of them. In fact, I might just do that. Yeah, we've only got three engrams left. And we've got an S plus bed. So... Yeah, we don't have enough for a large storage box just yet, so we're going to craft one S plus storage box for now. Um, what do we miss? We need more stone for that. The bed I'm not too bothered about. We're going to put that over here next to our bed, because obviously we're going to need to put items in there when we fast travel. I'm going to stick a load more wood in here to the light to create some charcoal. But now if we go back into our metal and pestle, as you can see, we've got narco berries. Craft all them. These will become essential at some point, so you do need to start crafting them as soon as you can. And then we have spark powder, which requires that and that. And again, spark powder becomes essential later on in the game because you've got preserving bins that run off it, your campfires can run off it. Pretty much anything that burns can run from spark powder, and spark powder is more efficient in terms of each one burns for longer. Now, 
There's not much I can show you about these two items and I already have done. It's the motor and pestle can craft more, but we need to level up and the stuff that you can use for it doesn't really be coming to it until further on into the game when you develop a bit more. Um, you can craft things like stimulants which basically counteract narcotics. Narcotics put you to put you to a sleep, whereas stimulants quench your thirst but wake you up. So that's that's the way that works. There is more as well, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. But this thing can craft a crap ton of stuff that you're going to need. So you do need one lying around somewhere. I tend to have a, a couple crafted after a while. Um, the other thing I really wanted to show you was really just how to tame. Basic way to tame. So I'm going to go try and find a dodo. This episode's probably going to be quite short because that's all I really want to put in it for now. And then we're going to level up a bit and develop a few more things. Might even do a video next on how to level up fast early on. You know, get that out of the way so you can just blast through the levels if you want to. Because uh, some of the more useful stuff, such as a bow, which you can learn trank arrows to tame stuff with, that comes around level 15. Around the same level, you get your large storage boxes, which helps out a ton in terms of keeping space nice and tidy. Um, Typical into it, there's no dodos around here. Because, uh, see. Oh, so look at this. We have a drop coming in. And we have a dodo right next to it. Perfect. It's only level 7, so let's just keep punching it. So, one of the few ways to tame stuff early on is to punch it. Eggs. I'll explain that in a minute. By punching it, you'll raise its torpor level. Now, you won't get to see its torpor level without a spyglass later on in the game. But you'll only ever be able to punch a dodo unconscious, like so. Um, you won't really be able to do it with any other animals. You'll need something more impactful in order to do it with other animals. But what you do is, once you've knocked them unconscious, you just put the food of the desire into their inventory. And as you can see, he's eating. And his taming's going up, it's at 79% already, so we'll have him tamed within a few seconds. If we had some trank arrows, I would definitely tame that Dilo. I'll just cancel that out, because quite frankly, it's going to try and almost trip me up. So we'll get this Dodo back, you know, we'll give it a name first, shall we? Um, options, change name. We're gonna call it Don Joby. I don't know why. Just think it'd be funny to call it that. And it's female, and it says aggressive level is attack your target. I always put my dodos on passive, otherwise they end up attacking things and dying basically. And with dodos, you can actually pick them up. So let's pick up this guy, and then we'll get back for this drop. So, point of taming dinos. Plenty of different reasons depending on the dino you're taming. One, certain dinos have better harvesting rates, so they can collect things like berries better, wood, thatch, you name it. Pretty much most of the materials in the game can be harvested by a dinosaur better than what you can do with a tool. Other reasons, defending your base. Obviously, things like T-Rexes are really good for that because they'll pretty much kill anything that comes at them. Um, travel. Because they can run faster than you. Some of them can fly, obviously. Um, there's plenty of different reasons and plenty of good reasons as to why you should be taming dinosaurs. Another reason is is to tame certain dinosaurs in efficient time, you will need kibble. And the only way to make kibble is via these eggs. And the kibble system is going to change, so I'm not going to explain it just this moment in time because when it changes it'll be completely different and they'll be better off explaining it to you then. You can set the dinosaurs to follow you by basically whistling to follow so if you go to behavior it'll say enable wandering, enable following, all these different things. Enable wandering I very rarely ever use. Right let me get out of here and go over to this drop and we'll explain these to you. So we've got a lot done in a short space of time in this video guys, which I weren't expecting to do. I'm recording it quite late on, 
but I thought I'm best off getting it done because then I can get it rendered up and thumbnail sorted etc before this is a good screenshot opportunity so bear with me guys right I'm back so I took a screenshot there because I thought that were a good screenshot opportunity so as you can see I opened this and it's give us some meat some spark powder sleeping bags tinto berries water skin campfire more berries but as soon as you collect it all it disappears now you'll have seen a lot of other stuff in there and they are what's going to be known as sacrifices or boss spawns plenty of different names to call it but again further into the game where we're not even near game as you can see as well there's some weather conditions kicking in not really helpful for us but you know they are kicking in nonetheless so all we're going to do now guys is get back to base and I'm going to do a bit of a recap on what we can expect to do in the next episode. Um, obviously I have not planned the next episode yet but I will have plans for it. Um, and I'm thinking that it's pretty much about levelling up. Levelling up and we want to reach the next tier of material because these thatch walls, like it says there 1600 health out of 1600 might seem like a lot but if i get attacked by any sort of carnivore i may as well be sat in a paper or a cardboard box so you know that's why we're going to have to start that out this dodo is absolutely useless at being an aggressive dinosaur it is literally used as a kibble farming dinosaur to start off your kibble farm so again don't expect to see much from these guys in terms of <laughs> killing things is probably the best way to explain it but yep that's going to be the plans for the next video guys hope you've enjoyed watching and as always if you enjoyed watching hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button appreciate it a lot guys i'll see you next time give you a little wave goodbye <laughs> goodbye